Our first Stolen Valor video was filmed at the Kansas airport when an army officer and his wife Michelle flew from New Mexico. When you are facing those items in the overhead bin, it's possible to keep that cable in. I've never said that. Okay, and so are you wearing that? No, you're not on active duty, sir. Are you tired? No, sir. Are you tired? And why are you wearing this? This is your point. Oh, it's a win. Did you know that you were in violation of the Stolen Valor Act? I didn't steal it. In 2013, President Obama signed a reworked version of the law that made it a crime to falsely claim to have received any of several specified military awards with the intent to obtain money, property, or some other tangible benefit. An E9 in the United States Marine Corps, and you're not. However, Sir, I did not give you. You are not wearing your uniform properly. Please remove the hat and the boot for you to be in more discretion in the United States Marine Corps. Sir, you're also wearing a Silver Star device, with a Valor device, which is not an authorized award. You also have three service strikes, which notes 12 years of service, yes, sir. which an E9 does not achieve. Yes, sir, I know that. So then why are you wearing it? You should be ashamed of yourself. I've, I have deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan twice. Yes, sir, twice. so is my son. And well, then your son should tell you that is, un that is unacceptable and inappropriate and an insult. To people who have died wearing that uniform, how dare you? Excuse me. This, well, no, absolutely. No, no, no. This is none of my business. But what the fuck is going on right yeah, now? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm he. Using, this is called is stolen valor. Stolen I never valor. said that I was active duty. You're I wearing right rank now. that doesn't but match your service anymore. stripes. Are you detaining me? A stolen valor is someone who makes false claims about their military service in civilian life. This includes claims by people that have never been in the military, as well as lies or embellishments by genuine veterans. I do not have the authority Thank to detain you. Well, Thank but you. But, I do. but it's, it's, it's enough to let everyone know you're inappropriate. Our second stolen valor shows confrontation of fake ranger at Oxford Valley Mall by a former infantryman, Ryan Burke. Hey, sir. Hey, my son like to meet you. He really uh, admires guys in the Army. Hey, buddy. I'm Sean. What, uh, what unit were you in? I'm with the 2nd Battalion Rangers. 75th? 2nd. We're 75th Ranger Regiment with the 2nd Battalion. What's your MOS? My MOS is 11 Bravo. Alright. I'm what's called Attack 1. All I do is I go out on missions. Where'd you get your uh, three CIBs at? Afghanistan. All three? All three. You know you need to be in three different campaigns to get three, uh, three CIBs, well, right? Liars are easily identified because they are being vague, providing few details, repeating questions before answering them, speaking in sentence fragments, failing to provide specific details when a story is challenged, saying too much and an unusual rise or fall in vocal tone. Check description to learn and identify a liar and confront people in a safe way. This one was from Afghanistan. Okay. That's from Iraq. Okay. And that was from my second rotation back to Afghanistan. You know, no matter how many you do, you can only get one. For That's, Iraq, Afghanistan, yep. all three, you can well, only get them. You know that, right? Because uh, my campaign took me outside of mission lines from Afghanistan. That doesn't make any sense. And you're in second bet, Rangers? Yep. There it is. Where's your combat patch at? Uh, I gave it to a little kid again. All right, why is your flag so low on your shoulder? It should be up here. Got me on that one, bud. American military uniforms feature the U.S. flag, which is worn facing backward on right shoulder. The rule is that the blue field of stars should always be in the highest position of honor on the uniform. Why are, uh, your boots are all on blast too? Because, uh, I literally just got home. From where? From Fort Lewis. Fort Lewis? Is that where the Rangers are? That's where we're stationed. How come, uh, where's your, your shirt underneath? Your tan t-shirt? What's your rank? I'm a staff sergeant. Staff sergeant? Where'd you go to basic training? Fort Jackson. Fort Jackson? Staff sergeant is responsible for developing, maintaining, and utilizing the full range of the soldier's potential. You know, only the infantry only goes to Fort Benning, right? Yeah, for ranger training. No, for basic off, training. No, I didn't start off as a ranger, as infantry. You didn't? What'd you start off as? I started off as a M1, as a driver for Humvees. What's the, uh... What's the actual MOS for that, for a driver? 
My driver MOS. Hold on one second. Stamp chart. Staff sergeant. He's calling a staff sergeant. Why is he calling a staff sergeant staff sergeant if he's already a staff sergeant? That doesn't make much sense. Hey, where are you? Answering a call with your name introduction is a basic phone etiquette. Come here. Okay. Okay. You want me to meet you there? He's calling a staff sergeant staff sergeant when he's wearing the rank of a staff sergeant. That makes much sense. Okay. Here it is, guys. Stolen valor at its finest. Okay. He's full of shit, wearing a United States Army uniform. Okay. Claims to be a United States Army Ranger. Okay, listen, what we're going to do is we're going to step down here okay. with my Sergeant Major. All right, let's go. Let's see your Sergeant Major. So you shop at the mall with Sergeant Major on Black Friday? Sometimes. Yeah? That's cool. Why don't you just admit you're a phony? You know it's illegal, right? What you're you doing right now? Let me tell you something. If I was a phony, yeah. then I wouldn't be wearing this uniform. You wouldn't? Because you are phony. I just called you out on about 10 different things, and all of them are bullshit. This is illegal. What you're doing right now is illegal, because you know what? I've worn that fucking uniform, and I've had friends get killed in Afghanistan so wearing that fucking I. uniform. No, you haven't. That's you're full I, of shit. Stolen Valor. Stone right here. Valor. Stolen Valor! Another extreme stolen Valor was captured at Margate, Florida, Walmart. This situation looks legit and real, but leave a comment. What do you think? Hey. Yeah. You know what that means? Yeah. Non-operational cover. Right. That means I did Wow, things you're awesome. Were. And then, you know what sad means? What's that? Sad Unit 7. It's, oh. it's above the seals. That's why it's... it's mm, wow. Yeah, since I have it on, I can tell you about it. Right. If I wasn't wearing it. You I, couldn't tell me. It's open. It's okay to tell you. Wow. Cause it's known now. It started in 1994. Oh, wow. Special Activities Division, SAD, was renamed in 2016 to Special Activities Center, SAC, which is a division of the Central Intelligence Agency responsible for covert operations and paramilitary operations. Instead of the SEALs, and that means Special Activities Division Unit 7. Yeah. And they do things... What, um, what, what, um... They do things just like you go in black... Right. You know, Special I mean, operations. Now, I have a question because cause my, my father and my stepfather were in the military. My father was so in the Marine know, Corps, these, these and my stepfather was in the and Army. Each star, you know what each star means? Yeah, the devices. I got, now, the question. No, the each, qu each star means that I received that same badge. Yeah, you got, three times. you got a silver star with a Valor device. Now, the right. question I have what SEAL team were you on? I wasn't on the SEAL team. I went to SEAL training. I had to go to the Top Gun school, too. The United States Navy Strike Fighter Tactics Instructor Program, SFTI program, more popularly known as Top Gun, teaches fighter and strike tactics and techniques to selected naval aviators and naval flight officers who return to their operating units as surrogate instructors. Oh, because you can't that. you can't wear a SEAL Trident when I'm getting a, in a SEAL team unit. I'm on a C I'm SEAL team, but it's you don't understand it's CIA NOC SAD Unit Seven Division. That, wow. that I'm involved in everything. Wow, that's a lot of ribbons, man. Cool. It's no one's 40, ever came at you and said stolen valor to you, man. What? No one's ever said anything about stolen valor. No, I, I when oh, wow. I see generals, generals even go to me like this. Because yeah. I have more medals than they do. Yeah, you do have a lot of medals, but if you were assigned to the SEAL team, I'd never heard of a SEAL having a... You have to do the SEAL thing to be involved, to even be involved in the, what I'm involved in. Oh, okay, you okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I so understand. I am a SEAL. I'm oh. just not on SEAL Team 1, SEAL Team 6, Unit 7 is above anything oh. else. Oh, okay. It's above the SEALs. Cool. Colonel check Douglas Resin. Go okay. on the internet and check on SAD Unit 7 Division. And right, I'll, check it, I'll it check it out. I'll check it out, Colonel. Internet. That's why I can talk about it. Cool. It'll be on and this is, see, what is this, your air intelligence? But, yeah, this is the air intelligence. agency intelligence. And, you got, and, what, and what is your... And you know what this one is, right? Yeah. What is this one? Yeah, U.S. Air Force. No, but what is it? What so is special it projects. What special projects? I don't know, but you, you don't know what saying? special projects no. is. Groom Lake. You know what Groom Lake is? No, what's that? Area Fifty One. Oh, Groom Lake. okay. So that's, and, and, that's and you have why it has and you have a badge. Out. So what kind of badge you have? I'm, I'm doing documentations. It's cool. Show me your badge. Let me see your badge. Let me see. I can show it. That's cool. 
and he has a badge. CIA, and then and then you have the show the badge, the metal badge. CIA. This is the Special Activities Division. And he's a special agent for the Special Activities. And C. And you have the ID in there too. I have. No, on the other side you had it. On the other side, you had it on the ID. Wow. Another stolen valor at Liberty University. So can you tell me you're a Navy SEAL with, well, see, it's four purple hearts, a Navy cross, silver star, bronze star. Yep. Afghanistan, Iraq, one tour in each of one Afghanistan. One tour in Iraq. each. That's right. And sir, what was your name again? Mark Johnston. A purple heart is a solemn distinction and means a service member has greatly sacrificed themselves or paid the ultimate price while in the line of duty. Mark Johnston. Yes, sir. Johnston. Like the ring, Mark Johnston. Okay, and you're Rear Admiral. Rear Admiral. Admiral is a four-star commissioned naval flag officer rank in the United States Navy, the United States Coast Guard, and the United States Public Health Service Commissioned Corps. For the CIA Special Operations. What yes, was it? Again? Special Operations Division. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. Another video of stolen valor where a fake colonel goes into a recruiting office and looking for a travel, food vouchers, and colonel rank. I'm still in good standing. Well, I'm saying though, are you, are, you, are you on leave right now and trying to get back to Fort Jackson? That's what yes. I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. What, what's your, what, uh, what unit are you with in Fort Jackson? 28th Infantry. 28th Infantry? Mm -hmm. So you're in the infantry? Uh-huh. Well, they sent me my update information. What's your what's your what's your uh, what's your rank in the infantry? 06. You're in 06? Mm -hmm. Colonel. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh -huh. That's what I'm talking about. Colonel is the highest field grade officer and is just below the general officer with a good pay grade. They want me to get there so to do my update on my pay so okay. but I don't have any money to get there. You you're 06 and you don't have any money. That's why I wanted to come here to make a loan. So you come into a recruiting station to make a loan to get to the active duty base, if possible. You understand how silly that sounds, right? Mm. You so you think that sounds perfectly logical? Well, they had the ACS department on the active duty bases, right? And that can do emergency loans. Yes, but this is a recruiting station. You can get loan from bank and other financial institutions, but it's not likely from a recruitment agency. You, you don't, don't, you don't have like a bus voucher or an airplane <coughs> voucher, travel voucher. What like put the travel? What like put together to get you some? To oh, get to we the can't. Base? Oh, we can't do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can't do that. Gosh. You know you out of uniform, right? What happened? I mean, you, you said. Oh, you, you have you, any rank around? Some extra rank. What's, what what kind of rank you need? Um, colonel's rank. You need a colonel's yes. rank. Why would I have colonel's rank? I didn't know. I mean, some you, some officers keep it around, but don't worry about it. And, and you have tennis shoes on. Yeah, I can't walk, walk far distances in the boots. Okay. Leave a comment on what kind of shoes you're wearing with your uniform, because tennis shoes are not normally issued by army. So that's the only reason I put the tennis on. Okay, I right, got you. Well, no, we we can't we can't give you a loan to uh to to, to get to to get to uh wherever you're trying to go. Okay, well, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Another stolen valor is a highly decorated marine in a laundromat. This first stands yes. for combat. That means that these ribbons down uh -huh. the center, uh -huh. which are the theaters of war that I've been in, have been as combat soldier. That's a combat badge. Okay, these are called ribbons, combat ribbon. Yeah. Okay. Luke, uh, Navy Cross. Oh my. Purple Heart. Whoa. Okay, so can I put the camera on you? Damn, how'd you get that? Three rounds. Three rounds? New heart. God damn. I got a new heart. God Someone damn. Me. I get special treatment. I Hell a yeah. I got flown to Stanford and they put a new heart at me. Which is that one? Which is that? Heart. So you got two of them? Sir, I got nine. Nine? I got hit with a pie yesterday. See how this is wrinkled? Yeah. I washed it by hand. Some guy let me some soap here. Yeah. And I washed it by hand so it dried and wrinkled because they hit me with a pie. 
because I had my full But ribbon. they didn't give you a rib the ribbon for that, though. No, I should have got a pie ribbon, and he should have got a pie throwing fucking uh, ribbon. No shit, good. yeah. But At least the pie was soft. Leave a comment if you will chose something hard, like potato, or something soft like pie. And he hit throwing me, us. But, he hit so me as, I had too many ribbons. He said he was a uh, uh, he was a marine, and I was a liar. I had too many purple hearts. So off came. Oh, and you had this on, and he told off. you this. Yes, I had this many ribbons down here. Oh, and he hit you with the pie with Yeah, because I was a liar. So I took half the ribbons off. What the fuck's off. his problem? What does he know? I don't know. But he had a colonel. I could have had him arrested right there. He should have fucking locked him up in a piece of shit. Ah, he threw a pie guts. I told him you get the pie. I guess water. it'd be worse considering with the shit that you've been through. Yeah, fuck it. What's Why this not? right here? Lurk means long range reconnaissance patrol. I am Holy I shit. It. That means this, sir. Can I take okay. your shoes off? I'm gonna snap his neck off. Fuck, man. See? Hey, to be. Lived in Korea five years, knocked out rock marines. <laughs> then Damn. went to Japan, learned how to swing a sword. Is this strike for how many times you've been in? No, this is gunny. Oh shit. Uh, gunny. I, I taught people how to shoot straight. Then that was when I was a kid, 19. <laughs> and you were a, 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 gunny. A, a gunny? Gunny sergeant. Gunny sergeant at 19? Yeah. And then the army, I was done with them. Only yeah. me for two years, started 17. Holy okay. crap. 19 a mile. If he joins service as a 17 young man, then it's possible to get into this stage. But leave a comment, what do you think? Another stolen valor were EOD guy at the Fresno airport wearing stepson's uniform and claiming 20% discount at Starbucks. So keep close attention for his answers. Okay, so why are you in uniform? Because uh, I don't have any regular clothes, I just got back. He don't have any other clothes than a military one. So keep close attention to his answer because it he will repeat it multiple times. I don't have any jeans and stuff like that. I'm here to drop him off this morning and I'm heading back out. Just visiting for the holidays. Okay. So you're former military? Yes, sir. So you know you can't be in uniform when you're not military, right? I understand, yes. If I had, if I had a pair of jeans to put on, I'd have them on right now this second. I just I didn't have anything for my ACUs left right now. What uh, what branch? I'm doing DOD. With what branch? Uh, the Marines. So that's your uniform. You know that's the Army uniform. Yes, sir. Listen, I'm telling you right now. I if I had regular civilian clothes to put on so right now. Why would minute, you have Army uniform if you're in the Marines? I borrowed my uh, my stepson's. The only available clothes is a stepson's uniform with a cap which means he had to put lot of effort into it. I guess stepson doesn't have civilian clothes either. My stepson just came back from South Korea. All of mine are all of mine are all... Listen, don't reach for it, but do you have an ID? No, I don't have me right now. Okay. So the, the, the instruction of don't reach for it? Yes, sir. I, okay. I, don't, I don't have anything on What's me. What's your last name, Are you ready? What's that? Yes. Your last name? Delamere. How are you spelling that? D E L A M A I R E. M A I R E. Yes, sir. Your first name? P. E. Oh. E. Your date of birth? Uh, nine. Can I see him on? 925. He's getting ready to head out to Europe right now. Okay. What's, the What's your date of birth? 925. 70. I'll see you. See you when I get back next right. year. Have a good holiday. Yeah. Are you good to go now? Okay, yeah. Oh, I have nothing on me, sir. <clears throat> what have I done wrong? You I'm saying, sitting here you with saying my that you're former military, right? Yes. So you know you can't be in uniform when you're not. You can't. I, I you have can't. nothing else that was clean. Yeah. I have no other clothes that are here right now. I got here like four days ago with my wife. She's in, it's up in Oakhurst right now. So you've had four days to get some other clothes? I haven't gone shopping, sir. I haven't gone to the store. I haven't done anything. I brought my Let son's ACUs. Let me ask you a question. Does that sound reasonable to you? If I, if, I, if I went out tomorrow and said this is all I got? Sir, I, I'm just telling you the How truth. How old are you? I'm 44. Okay. Then that's not a reasonable point, sir. 
What? What by, is by anybody's standards? What is the way I'm dressed? Because you're saying that you're. That's I'm an army uniform. Yes, that's an army uniform. Why would you have an army it uniform? My, it is my Marines? stepson's army uniform. That's all he had. He's not here right now either. I grabbed it out of his jacket, out of his closet this morning. I threw it on. I ran down here at four o'clock this morning to get my to get my dad down here to drop him off, and I'm heading the hell back out. That's all I'm doing. Okay. If you're EOD, what's the RE factor of C4? Excuse me. What's the RE factor of C4 for this EOD? This is his jacket for EOD. Is you just said you're an EOD. I did not say I was yes, EOD. Did. I said yeah, did. DOD. The last, the last What's place DOD I stand D for? What? What's DOD stand for? Department of Defense. Okay. And I know what EOD stands for. Explosive Ordnance Disposal. I understand that. I grabbed his. So what was your MOS in the Marines then? MOS, Military Occupational Speciality Code is a nine-character code used in the United States Army and United States Marine Corps to identify a specific job. Exactly. Excuse me? Exactly, you don't know. What did you say? What's your MOS? Oh my God. What's your I cannot believe that I'm going to get jammed up for dropping off my dad this morning. Yeah, because what you're wearing, I'm, I actually recently got out of the Army and it's called stolen valor. It's, it's. I am not stealing anybody's valor, sir. I swear to God, if I had any other things to put on this morning, I would have done it. It was four o'clock this morning. I went into my son, my son's uh, stepson's closet. I grabbed some shit. I threw it on, and I slept all the way to the, to the office. Friend. What do you wear while doing laundry? Is it your son or stepson clothes, or do you wear some crazy stuff? Another stolen valor was filmed at funeral in West Palm Beach in Florida. Question: cool. Which one's this? I've never seen that before. Last one. What? It's the Bronx Star. No, it's not. This is too much. Silver Star. This is Silver Star right here. I have a Bronx Star medal too. Bronze Star is awarded to members of the armed forces for either heroic achievement, heroic service, meritorious achievement, or meritorious service in a combat zone. Yeah, no. Silver Star. I, 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 I'm going to call you out on it now. What's Sorry. this one right there? This one's your Bronze Star. This is your Bronze this Star with a V. Yes, I know this, that. This is your Afghanistan? Yes. That's your Afghanistan. And I got all my medals. And stuff when I came home, and I just came home six months to a year. I stayed in Afghanistan. So. You're not you're not even wearing the proper infantry uniform, and you're wearing no, the. Yes, I'm just wearing my. No, no, that's not. not the this proper my, infantry my uniform. I'm at the what's what's the army what's the army uniform regulation? Regulation. What's the, um, what is it? What what uniform what's gotta be dressed now? No no. What is the regulation? The what is the actual code. regulation? What's the code? The code is do my best, do my duty to serve my country. That's, that's the my, uniform my, regulation. My are you sure it's not AR 670 1? Army regulation, where an appearance of Army uniforms and insignia, is the governing authority for how Army uniforms are worn. Specifically, paragraph 28 to 18 governs the wear of the U.S. flag on Army uniforms. Yeah, what's the PT unif uh, uniform regulation? I don't love PT. You on PT? I don't do PT. Okay. I'm an officer, man. Another stolen valor was recorded at McDonald's in Australia, so as you can see, you can find it anywhere in the world. Okay, mate, how are you? Good, you? good thanks. My, my name is uh, Senior Constable Murdoch. I'm from uh, Rapid Action Patrol Group, based here on the Gold Coast. Yeah, mate. Yeah. But I am also a sergeant in the Royal Australian Army, okay? Yep. Yeah, yeah. I uh, hold the rank of sergeant at 511 Field Battery. Yeah. Do you have your military ID on? I don't actually at the moment. You I, don't? No, because um, all I've got is my veterans. Like just veteran affairs, because I'm actually I'm, I'm discharging. Yeah. A military discharge means that a military member being released from their obligation to continue service in the armed force. Yeah. And how long have you been in the service for? I was a clearance diver in the navy to begin with. Yeah. And then I did uh, selection for the commando regiment. Yeah. And then yeah, but I'll, but as I said, I'm, I'm getting out of it. Yeah. And how long were you in the army for? Like I was a clearance driver in the Navy for seven years and then with the Army for just on near 12 months, 13 months. Yeah, and I've just come out of Kapuka and I've come up here and yeah. Well, I say, have you done your selection for Commander? Yeah, I've done selection, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I did all that. Yeah. Whereabouts did you do that? Uh, that was done at Holtworthy. Yep. Yeah, you do a nine week selection course mm -hmm. and then from there you you start like Rio cycle. Right, yeah. Yeah, I've done selection, yeah. Okay. Brent, the reason I've uh, is this this is you, Brent. Yeah, okay. yeah. The reason I've asked you the question, yep. okay, is I've been in the army for 25 years. Yep. And the first thing I know is is that the Australia flash that's on your 
shoulder yep. is actually on the incorrect shoulder. Okay, it should be on that side of the uniform. Okay, it's the same through the Navy and also the Air Force. Australian Army wears a flag on the left shoulder instead of right shoulder like Americans. Okay, secondly, the parade that you're wearing, okay, is non-standard issue. Okay, yep. Royal Australian Regiments as well as the Commando Regiments wear a dark green beret. Okay, I notice you have the yeah, Commando Yeah, it's this flag. one here, mate. Look, it's... I know the beret. Like I've yeah. got mates who, who are serving for it. So yeah. it's that one here. So why don't you... Seeing as that you're in uniform, and you're aware of, so the general standing orders at the moment is that military personnel, unless on official duty, are not supposed to be wearing the uniforms because of the heightened terrorist threat. Well, I didn't, honestly, I did not know that because I've been, as I said, I've been home for a few weeks. I did not know, and I'm, as I said, I'm getting out of the army, and I'm off to see the Department of Veteran Affairs now. So I didn't know. Okay. Do you have any other identification on you, driver's license or something similar? As you can see, it's typical answer for most of the stolen valors. Because not knowing is not apologizing. <clears throat> like what, what, like what's this about? Like what have I done? I reasonably suspect at the moment that you're impersonating the soldier. No, I'm not. Okay. Like, as I said to you, like I've, I've, I'm, I can't believe this. I'm not impersonating the soldier at all. Like I can show you um, pictures of, of all, like enlistments of me in the, in the military. Right, yeah. Like I'm not impersonating a soldier at all. Another fake soldier gets called out by Army veteran. Please leave a comment if this soldier is real. Hey, hey, yo, yo, yo soldier, your Army guy. Hey. What's up, man? I just want to, I just want to thank man. you. I just want to thank you. For your oh, service, man. Thank you for the recognition. Yeah, man. What's up, man? Nothing. What are you doing here in Pasadena, take California? A picture? Yeah, dude, for sure. I just want to, okay. dude. I'm just curious, man. Like, I was in the service too. Oh yeah. But like, I was just wondering, um, what's up with those shoes, man? Like, oh, the only way. You... Are, uh, the MOS that I am, these are actually issued to us because of the missions that we go on. We're required to be faster than... Army shoe weight around 2.2 pounds compared to 10.6 ounces for a tennis shoe. What's going on with the phone, man? I'm just wondering, like, because, like, um, only way you wear shoes like that with the ACUs is if you're, you're on profile. Um, I'm low profile. Our, our MOS, they, they, they don't want us really telling people what we do. MOS or Military Occupational Speciality Code is a nine-character code used in the United States Army and United States Marine Corps to identify a specific job. It's, What's it's, your it's, MOS? What? That's just something I can't share. It's something I can't share. But, hey, airborne leads the way, right? I'll see you. Hey, dude, no, 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 seriously, seriously. Like, um, What's up? Uh, What's the deal with the phone? I can't, I can't have... Me being I'll blur your face. Look, I'll blur your face when look. Okay. I can blur it. I have All the right, app no, to blur your face. Online. I won't post this or nothing. I this is for me. This is for my records, man. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, yeah for sure. Cause I respect you, but I just want to know, man. Like I was in the service too. Yeah. I just want to know, like, uh, you, I, I'm coming at you peacefully, right? Yeah. yeah. But why the hell do you have an American flag right on the center of your f freaking chest, man? Why? I, I do it differently. Our unit does. With the flag being on the side, the enemy can't tell it's America when we're coming at them. So we put it on the front of us to let them know that America's on their way. Flag could be easily recognizable in less than 30 meters or 33 yards for our USA viewers. That's the, that's the biggest crock of, who the, what, what is this? This is your armed services ribbon? This is the NATO ribbon? Yeah. Um. With what me, unit? What well, unit are you in? I told you, I cannot tell you that. And I don't put my name here because when my time comes, I don't want to be remembered for who I am. I want to remember for all the accomplishments that I did. And it's allowed in our unit. The haircut. I got to say, you got the right haircut, but what about the beard? I, when I shave, I get bumps. And usually we're hiding in the jungle and everything. So uh, we're allowed. We're allowed. I don't know, so man. Cool, man. I think, I don't know. All branches of the U.S. military currently prohibit beards for a vast majority of recruits, although some mustaches are still allowed. It's cool, man. <laughs> okay. 
The last stolen valor is about a fake soldier walking a K9 dog outside. Hey! Soldier boy! You got a minute? What's going on, man? Uh, nothing much, eh? How you doing? No, I'm doing great. Bro. Yeah, hey, thanks for your service, man. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, um... So you got your dog there. You're in the army, or...? Yeah, I'm in the army. Yeah? Full-time. Full-time? Full-time. Yeah, I don't know anything about the army. I mean, I got people... I got a lot of friends that served. Uh, you want to tell me a little bit about it, or...? Yeah, we're out there to make assure your safety and that no enemies come to America. Okay. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. What's up with the dog? Well, it's my standard issue um, canine. It's um, trained to... Um... Military uses dog breeds such as Labs, Retrievers, Jack Russell, but most popular are Belgian Malinois, Dutch Shepherd and German Shepherd. These dogs are valued for their intelligence, trainability, work ethic, and adaptability. Small. Standard issue canine, really. Hey, where are you going, man? Oh, Come back. You got more questions, bro? No, yeah, I'm just curious. What, what's, yeah. what's going on? With, uh, with what? This, well, <laughs> I mean, I've seen my friends with their uniform, and yours yeah. looks weird. What's, no, I mean, uh, what's up with the flag right there? Oh, this flag is uh, the American flag. Okay. It's the American flag. Why, why do you have two? You have, you, have a, you have this one over here. Well, this one, I that. got it when I joined. So this one, I got it when I was deployed. Oh, is that how it works? Yeah, I was out there. Where's now. your rank? I know you gotta have a rank somewhere. Yeah, I got a rank right here. That's your rank. What rank yeah. is that? It's a sergeant first class. Sergeant first class, really? Yeah. Okay. And uh, where's your uh, where your pants, man? My pants, they're right here, bro. No, your army pants. Oh, this is uh, Casual Friday. You know, it's uh, it's allowed in my unit to uh, we're allowed to walk around with just with just our jackets. That's it. So. In case you know anything goes on, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for action. I'm ready to take those enemies down. Uh, there are certain rules for those seeking to wear the uniform for formal functions, national holidays, parades, military funerals and weddings, and other military occasions. If you are a retired military member or a discharged veteran, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. You're not convincing me. No, yeah. And uh, okay. I uh, and all these patches. What the what the fuck's the deal with that? These patches? Yeah. Oh, this is, uh... These are my patches, bro, you know? It's too complicated for me to explain it to you because you won't understand, but... I'm just, just a, mean they're... I'm just a civilian, right? It's just um, patches for my dedication for and for my service to my country and my people. Oh, yeah? So you earned them? I earned them. Fair and square. Fair and square. Fair and square, sir. Really? For going into battle? Is that going right? into battle. I was deployed. You know, I had a couple of enemies taken down, and that's when I earned these two right here. And what else you got over here, man? Over here? I got my, you know, when I went to the White House, they hooked me up with this one. That's uh, the Medal of Valor. I got Medal this of flag. Valor? I got this flag, too, for jumping off an airplane in a parachute. That's the same flag as this? Yeah, but, you know, this one's when I was deployed. Oh, no, no, that's, this one. Well, that, that one's when I joined. You got an extra flag right there. What's up with that? When I joined, when I was deployed, when I jumped off a helicopter, and when I brought my buddies home safe from the war in Iraq. Oh, that's why it's hiding? Yeah. You know, okay. you got to represent the country, sir. Okay. Uh, so what are you doing, man? Me? I see you walking around my neighborhood. Yeah, I'm just walking my canine, you know, making sure the streets are safe. Even though I'm not, you know, in my unit. I still walk the streets, make sure no no villains are uh, up to no good. You know, I gotta keep the, the streets clean, sir. Keep the streets clean. Yeah, That's what your unit clean. does on casual yeah. Fridays. Yeah. Yeah. Like your beret, man. Oh, thanks. Uh, isn't airborne units supposed to have red berets? Oh. Uh, yeah, yours is different too. Yeah, this is different because it's uh, I was assigned to a top secret classified mission, so instead of red, you know, if I would have been walking around with the red beret, there would have been like. Hey, you know, he's airborne. So they gave me a black one. Mm -hmm. So that way, I could hide in the shadows. I guess so, yeah. man. And uh, why are you so nervous? No, I'm not nervous. I'm just... Yeah? 
Are you? you know, it's a little cold out here. Okay. I'm sick. I have a sore throat. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, I'm not buying it, man, to be honest. Yeah. Not, not, not buying it. So my buddies in the army have told me, you know, other other stories and seen different patches. Not like that. No, these are army issues. I guarantee you, sir. Yeah, you got to be careful, man. There's a lot of fake people out there, you know? Yeah, you know, that's why I'm out here to put those fake assholes in their spot. Put Whenever those I fake... see one, I walk up to them and say, hey, what's up, bro? You better take that shit out before you get knocked the fuck out, you know? Yeah, because I hear they go up in stores and try to try to get discounts yeah, and shit. They try to go up stores and discounts and talking about discounts. And I'm actually on my way to a Starbucks to get, you know, in a soldier discount because, you know, the drinks are right there, you know, incredible i don't know if you ever had ice cold coffee and you earned it try it. yeah so they give you the discount yes sir okay all right sergeant first class will take care of yourself i guess yeah